being a bad cockatiel owner, is relatively easy. Compared to being a responsible one. A few careless mistakes, can have detrimental consequences, for your cockatiel's well-being. This video, will shed light, on the harmful practices, that should be avoided, to ensure you become an exemplary cockatiel owner. Assess yourself, to determine if you've been providing your feathered friend, with the care it deserves, or not. So, let's embark on this journey, towards becoming an exceptional cockatiel owner. Are you interested in adopting a cockatiel? Or did you just get your first cockatiel bird? However, caring for a cockatiel, is very different from caring for a dog or cat. So first-time bird owners, may face a bit of a learning curve. Here are 5 mistakes, every beginner does to cockatiel. Never touch your cockatiel's wings, and back. To help your cockatiel build a healthy bond with both, you, and other people. Keep caresses, and petting limited to the head, or feet only. And ask others to do the same. The reason for this, is that bird's sexual organs, are located directly under the wings on a bird's back. If you offer your cockatiel full body strokes, you are actually stimulating the production of sexual hormones. Petting down the back, or under the wings, can lead to a sexually frustrated cockatiel. Or a cockatiel, who perceives you as a mate, rather than a companion. A mated bonded cockatiel, can be hostile to others, in your home. Becoming jealous, or possessive of you. This can also stimulate egg production. Which can cause health issues over time. It's also fine to handle your bird's feet. In fact, it's a good idea, because if your cockatiel, is used to you handling his toes. It will be easier for you, to clip his nails. A respectful companion relationship, is the goal. Often, cockatiels will encourage inappropriate handling. So it is the human's responsibility, to maintain healthy boundaries. Not letting your cockatiel, out of the cage. Birds lose their capacity to fly, and hunt, when kept in a cage all the time. Given that, flying, are one of the most important activities, for cockatiels. This is one of the main cons, of always keeping them in cages. Keeping your cockatiel in the cage all time. Also leads to susceptibility, to stress and boredom. Forcing your cockatiel to bathe. Bathing, should be a positive experience for your cockatiel. Forcing your cockatiel into a bath, just makes your cockatiel fearful of water. By doing this, your cockatiel will link you, with these negative experience, and he will be frightened of you, therefore, you will lose its trust. If your cockatiel doesn't want to bathe, it just means that he does not want to bathe at that exact time. And it doesn't mean, that he never takes a bath in the future. Just try another day. Birds by nature love to take a bath. Meeting other birds. When you get your cockatiel home, you may be excited, to get your cockatiel outside. Or you may think, to take it with you to the pet store. So it can meet some pet birds. Or taking it to meet your friend's birds. But you should consider, that if your cockatiel gets too close, to another bird that carries a disease. It can get infection, by the infected bird. Birds can hide signs of illness. So a bird that looks healthy, can carry disease too. You should not introduce a new bird to your cockatiel. Or your flock, until you make sure, it's totally healthy, after a month of quarantine or more. Not spending enough time, with your cockatiel. The best way to keep your cockatiel entertained, is by spending time with it. This doesn't mean just feeding it, or cleaning its cage. It means engaging in activities, like playing games, talking, and taking it out of its cage, so it can explore the house safely. Just like any other pet, or family member, your bird needs both, physical, and mental stimulation. Spending quality time together, is the best way to do that. Most beginner bird owners, don't spend enough time with their birds. Which leads to health, and behavior problems. If you have one single cockatiel, and you don't spend enough time with it. It will lead to depression, stress, and self-stimulation. Whether you are a beginner, or a professional bird owner, you may do some things that can hurt your bird, or give it poor life. So here are 5 things, that you should never do to your bird. 
putting your bird in a window. It's okay to keep your birds in a window for a few minutes, to get some sunlight and cool air. But if you leave it there for hours, it can get a heat stroke. If there are air currents, they can make it sick quickly. Birds are too sensitive to air currents. Putting your bird cage directly in front of a window. As outside factors like dogs, hawks, and storms, will scare them. Putting your bird in the shower. One really common method of bathing your bird, that many birds owners do, is taking your bird in the shower with you. And that is a great method a lot of birds like it. But you should never put your bird directly under the stream of water. Especially not on the shower floor. That can be really dangerous for your bird. Because they are inhaling water. Instead of putting your bird directly under that stream of water. When you take your bird into the shower with you. You should let them bathe in the mist, off to the side on a shower perch. Or on top of the shower on a curtain rod. Meeting other birds. You may get the idea of getting your bird outside. Or you may think to take it with you to the pet store. So it can meet some pet birds. Or taking it to meet your friend birds. But you should consider, that if your bird gets too close to another bird, that carries a disease. It can get infection from the infected bird. Never grab your bird. Some birds like to be grabbed, like Quaker parrots. But some birds don't like it, like cockatiels or budgies. Grabbing your bird can get to losing your bird's trust immediately. Birds hate to be grabbed. And your bird will become hating you and frightened of you. There are some situations, that require us to grab our birds. Like taking it to a vet, or holding it for nail clipping. Or to take a treatment. If you had to grab your bird for emergency purposes. You can grab it with gloves, so your bird won't recognize your hand, and won't link them to you. Never touch your bird wings and back. To help your bird build a healthy bond with both, you, and other people. Keep caresses and petting limited to the head, or feet only. And ask others to do the same. The reason for this is that bird's sexual organs are located directly under the wings on a bird's back. If you offer your bird full body strokes, you are actually stimulating the production of sexual hormones. Petting down the back, or under the wings, can lead to a sexually frustrated bird. Or a bird who perceives you as a mate, rather than a companion. A mated bonded bird can be hostile to others in your home. Becoming jealous or possessive of you. This can also stimulate egg production. Which can cause health issues over time. It's also fine to handle your bird's feet. In fact, it's a good idea. Because if your bird is used to you handling his toes. It will be easier for you to clip his nails. A respectful companion relationship is the goal. Often, birds will encourage inappropriate handling. So it is the human's responsibility to maintain healthy boundaries. As pet bird owners, our priority is to give our feathered friends happy and healthy long life. But we may doing some mistakes that can hurt them or even reduce their lifespan without realizing. So here are five ways that you're hurting your bird, without realizing. Never yell at your bird. When your pet bird misbehaves and screams, you certainly do not want to reinforce it inadvertently, as this can exacerbate the behavior problem. From the perspective of the bird, receiving any attention while screaming might be a reward. Bear in mind, that under no circumstances should you yell at your bird, as this can prove very counterproductive. Some birds might desire you to yell back at them, as they simply adore drama, an expression of raw emotion, and the yelling itself becomes a prize. Apart from yelling back, hitting the cage, and leaving it secluded, will only increase the bird's stress. It may also worsen its screaming, or it will resort to some other behavior that is completely unacceptable, like feather picking. Nonstick cookware. Nonstick cookware such as Teflon, can be fatal to birds if overheated. Cooking your bird food such as rice in this cookware can hurt your bird with time. Bird safe cookware options including stainless steel, ceramic, and cast iron. Giving your bird tap water. Some tap water contains arsenic, chlorine, fluoride, and heavy metals. These chemicals are so harmful to birds with time and can cause a lot of health issues to them. Instead, 
give your birds water from a mineral water bottle to drink. Keeping your bird cage dirty. While birds in the wild are spotless animals, they don't have access to many of the natural elements they use for bathing when they're living with you in a cage. Keeping the cage clean will keep your bird happy and healthy, which translates to good bird family relations. Dirty cage will cause the growth of harmful bacteria that will hurt your bird. Small cages. In order for your winged buddy to be happy and healthy, it will need a roomy, comfortable cage. One of the most common ways bird owners hurt their birds is keeping birds in cages that are too small. The minimum size requirements will depend on what type of bird you have. Needless to say, a budgie won't need as big of a cage as a macaw. Also needs lots of toys to occupy with. Your pet will get restless and unhappy without suitable entertainment. 